In this video, we're going to cover seven free Chrome extensions for SEO that will make your lives easier. Hi everyone, my name is Etima Blauer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest video content. Before we get started with this video, leave a comment down below if you use any Chrome extensions for SEO currently. I want to know what you're using and maybe there's something that I won't have included in this list that might be really good. So let us know below what you're using. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first Chrome extension for SEO that we're going to be going through is man goals. And the main features I use it for is checking the on-page SEO of any particular web page. So when you go onto the on-page SEO, I'm on my homepage, for instance, you can see a bunch of different tabs on the left hand side. This is really interesting because you can see right from the get go, for example, how your page or the page that you're on will appear in the SERP. Pretty much all of these settings are quite useful. Some of them don't really work too well. I think the page speed one just never loaded for me. But other really interesting features we've got in here is things like structured data. You can easily see all the structured data types that appear, all the schema that appears for that particular web page. Mangul's SEO extension is really good for just analyzing the on page of any particular web page that you go on. Chrome extension number two is redirect path and redirect path pretty much as the name suggests will tell you if you go onto any particular web page, it will show you what's happened. So the process that it's gone through in terms of redirects before it actually reached that page. So for this instance here, just so you can see, I will type in my domain, but I will remove the HTTPS and I'll remove www. So when we do that here and press enter, obviously we can see that we've ended up at the right URL, but then sometimes you don't really know what the process was in getting there. And so what you do is you will see with the redirect path, it'll tell you what's actually happened. So we can see here it says 301. And when we click it, we'll see the journey that's been undertaken from when I typed in the initial URL. So first we can see it's added HTTPS and then it uh, added www. So redirect path is really, really important because you'll be able to kind of see exactly if certain URLs have been redirected or you might find a redirect chain, things like that. So this Chrome extension is great and I highly recommend that you use it. The third free Chrome extension for SEO is Mozbar. So this is a free Chrome extension by Moz. And what I use it for is to check to see if links are do follow or no follow. So here we have the Mozbar up at the top of the screen when we clicked it. And then we can click on this little pencil here and we can highlight all of the links. So we can highlight to see the followed links. For example, here we can see that on this Reddit post, the follow links are going back to the subreddit, also to the users who have posted comments. And we can see also no followed links and these are gonna be highlighted. So for this example, we can see that the link that was actually been put up for a Business Insider uh, post is actually no follow as are pretty much all external links on Reddit. They, these are no follow, but this Mozbar is really good because you can see exactly if the links that you're getting or links on other websites in general are do follow or no follow. The fourth Chrome extension for SEO is SEO Ruler. And there is so much that you can do with SEO Ruler, such as on page copy. You can take a look at Google search options. You can take a look at Google images in the SERP, the Google SERP. And what I would use this tool really is for scraping data from the SERP. So if we typed in baking a cake, for instance, and then we can see on the SERP that there's the people also ask section here. So we can click on a few of these just to get more and more questions showing up on the SERP. But obviously we don't have time to be copying all of these, right? So we'd be going to SEO ruler, we'd be going to Google SERP. We've got so many different options here. So with the section people also ask, we can copy the people also ask and it's already come up with a list of all of these uh, questions that we can then copy already to the clipboard. So if you've got a food blog or something like that and you want ideas for articles to make or different uh, answers to questions that people have, we can then easily copy this and you've got tons of ideas for new content around that. So that's what I use SEO ruler for, mainly just scraping content on the SERP and it's a fantastic SEO Chrome extension. The fifth Chrome extension for SEO is called Check My Links and Check My Links is really great because it'll be able to tell you on any web page that you go to 
it'll tell you exactly how many valid links there are, if there are any redirect links, any warnings or any invalid links. So all you do is click on it and it's gonna already highlight all of the links that appear on that web page, and it'll tell you if they're valid or not. So for example, I'm on one of my blog posts and it's come up with every single link being valid. So that's great. And obviously you need to check this with your pages to see if you've got any invalid links. Maybe the link that you had on there is now a 404 and you need to check it and update it. So check my links is a great Chrome extension for SEO. The next free Chrome extension for SEO is Keywords Everywhere. And Keywords Everywhere is really good on the SERP as well for determining search volume and things like that. But what I use it for mainly is to see the tags that people use on their YouTube videos. And when we type in any search, we can already see the insights that it's got. So it tells you what the top channel is, the maximum views for any video that's on that results page, it tells you the average views, the average age of the videos, etc., etc. And when we go into a specific video so we've gone onto Brian Dean's video for example and we can see the keywords that he's using in this video here so these are all the keywords that he's used in terms of the video tags and then that can just give you ideas of tags to use in your videos so that's keywords everywhere a pretty cool tool it does have a freemium version I think now but it's still working 100% free if you're looking to find other people's YouTube tags the seventh Chrome extension for SEO that we're gonna use is Email Extractor. And Email Extractor is so useful, especially when it comes to your link building and your outreach campaigns. So what it does is whenever you go into a site or a specific page, this extension is going to crawl the page to identify any emails that were included within it. So when you see a number pop up here, all you do is click on it and you can already see the email address that has been attributed to this web page. So what you can do then is just copy this email address and then start sending out your outreach. And this works for most websites. Some websites that have contact forms on their web page might not work, uh, but generally speaking, this is a very, very good tool to have because sometimes it literally finds email addresses that you might not be seeing, especially if we're on a web page like this, for instance, where there's just so much content so you can quickly and easily get the email address for that. So those have been seven free Chrome extensions for SEO that you can use today to make your lives easier when you're doing SEO. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like rating below. I've been Itamar Blauer and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, you've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.